Hey guys, Erin Wester here. So, Hot Mess Mom Vlog Episode 7. Trying to get in a good position here. Um, so it is a little after 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. Um, I know I had posted about um, wanting to talk about struggles and how to overcome struggles. So, as most of you know, if you've seen me on social media at all today, you know that um, I started day one of my third round of 21 Day Fix today. Um, yes, I'm an online health and fitness coach. Yes, I am affiliated with a network marketing company, Team Beachbody. Um, obviously, I've been doing Beachbody workouts since 2009. Um, I've been drinking Shakeology regularly since 2010. I've been using the Beachbody performance line for about the last two years or so regularly. So I'm an avid Beachbody user. Um, I may not follow every beach body thing hundred percent because I'm not a rule follower. Um, I like to kind of do my own thing, but I know the workout programs work. I know that the way they have them laid out for the workout schedule works. So I always follow that part. Um, have my Shakeology daily. I do mostly vegan cafe latte. Um, I drink my energized first thing when I wake up for my five o'clock miracle morning. I drink that right away. Um, and I typically do have hydrate during my workout. I know that, um, you know, for someone who eats a lower carb diet, a lot of my carbs do come from the performance line in my Shakeology. Um, and I'm also a avocado addict, so I typically have one avocado a day. Um, but you know, I'm on this high, higher fat diet. So, you know, it works. So today I think I had a, like 60%, um, 60% fat. I think I was at about 27% carb and a lower protein. But again, I, I do use Shakeology. I do use the performance line. Um, I'm feeding myself with good carbs, veggies, um, some berries. So, you know, I, I'm feeling myself with, with the good version of carbs. For me, you know, again, everything, everything, everybody's different. So obviously everything works differently for different people. So this is just what works for me. Obviously clean eating, portion control, all that stuff works as well. This is just what I need to do for me. So I'm going to talk today about struggle, about staying motivated. Yes, it's day one, but even on day one, I struggle. That's just me. Um, you know, today was a rough day, you know, whatever I got up at five, that was good. Everything was good. Um, went to Kenosha for work and, uh, for court and uh, things just got out of whack. We were there for a really long time. It went to my lunchtime. You know, I had to rush back to the office and kind of eat my lunch in the car, but I was prepared. Um, as long as I'm prepared, I don't go through that drive through. So I was prepared. So... I brought things that I knew I could eat in the car. So I had my Shakeology with me for my breaking my fast because I do do intermittent fasting. I do have, again, my performance line in the morning, um, but I don't break my fast until about 11 o'clock. And then I, that's when I typically have my Shakeology. So I blend it up before I leave the house on days I go to work. Um, you know, blending it up about 7.45, you know, 11, it's it's still good. As long as I put ice in it and blend it, it's still good. Um, it may have melted a little bit, but it's still good. So, you know, I was prepared. I had my Shakeology with me. I had, um, this is going to sound really, really weird to people. So, um, a cooked chicken sausage, um, cold, but it's good, trust me. So, I cut it up. You know, I'm able to eat it while I'm driving, you know, it works. Um, you know, not the best thing, but I also had my avocado while driving. Not the best thing. Um, I hated that stoplights, but you know, I was prepared. Um, blueberries, you know, things I can eat with my hands so I can still eat and drive at the same time. Oh, and then when I got to the office, I had my mashed cauliflower, um, things of that nature. But, I mean, you just, you need to be prepared. And I, I knew we were going to have for dinner. I knew that we were going to have pork chops on the grill. I knew we were going to have zucchini sauteed in coconut oil. I, I just knew what we were going to have. So it's all about preparing. So tomorrow, I know what we're going to have. We're going to have sirahi tuna for dinner. So, you know, we're prepared. Um, 
I'm gonna, of course, do the same thing, get up for my five o'clock miracle morning, um, do my personal development while I drink my Energize, do my workout, shower, get my lunch ready. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna take the rest of the mashed cauliflower um, and a pork chop, and then I will probably take um, raspberries maybe, um, bring my avocado, my Shakeology. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna also try having daily sunshine for a snack and see if that might be better than other things that I could have. So you know, it's all about um, being prepared. It's all about planning ahead. Um, that's really how it's gonna make things go smoother. So I have in my mind um, what I'm gonna have for meals every day this week. I have in my mind what leftovers I'm gonna take. Um, obviously I can't control what my husband brings for leftovers, so I have to be a little flexible in that respect. But really the best way to get rid of those cravings and to stay on track is to be prepared. Um, you know, I'm not a huge food prep person. I'm not a huge, um, like meal prep Sunday kind of person. That, that's not really me. It's That's hard for me. But I have started meal planning. Again, I plan out what meals we're going to have. But during the week, you know, sometimes it gets all cockamamie and it just doesn't work out. But I don't let that distract me. I don't let that take me off course. So, you know, Wednesday I'm going to be working late. So Wednesday I'm not going to be home till 6. So, you know, I know this ahead of time so I can prepare. So we're going to have tacos on Wednesday and I'm going to put them in the crock pot. You know, it's just you need to you need to be prepared for things like that because um, not prepared is what's going to lead you to the drive through what's going to lead you to having a binge. I also don't have any foods in my house that make me want to binge. So, you know, I don't ha really have chips in the house. I don't have um, desserts in the house. You know, it's really just about, um, you know, if it's not in your house, you're not going to have it. And if you're prepared, you're not going to want to go through the drive through um, You're not going to want to cheat. And if you're working hard on your workouts and you are working really hard on your nutrition, it's going to make you just want to to reach your goals even better. Another thing that helps keep me on track is progress pictures and measurements. So yes, I did step on the scale this morning. Yes, I did progress pictures last night. Yes, I did my measurements. And yes, it was scary. That right there is a motivator for me because I looked at that picture of myself that I took last night. I looked at that picture and I said, what the heck? H-E-L-L, -L, am I doing? I freaking look pregnant. I work so hard in Shalene's diet beta test to lose 15 pounds and I gain that weight back. Um, if that's not a motivator, I don't know what is. Um, you know, the end of my three weeks of 21 day fix really basically comes at the end of the month. So as my reward for completing 21 day fix, I'm going to go get my hair done. Yes. I'm going to get a haircut. Yes. I'm going to get color. Yes. I'm going to do something to treat myself, but that means I got to stick on track for three weeks or I'm canceling my hair appointment. And that's how I'm going to see it. As you see, my hair is in the process of growing out. So, you know, it, it is horrible. I just washed it this morning, but it's just, it's all these dead ends. It's just, it's horrible. You know, people could say, you know, you don't need to spend the money. Just let the hair grow out. But I just feel like I'm a hot mess. No matter what I do, dry it, don't dry it. Um, try to put it up. You know, it just doesn't work. I don't have the time to figure out a way to do my hair. Um, I just don't have the time. I have other things that are more important, which is my family, my workouts, my nutrition, um, my kids, um, my business, my job. You know, there are just other things that are more important than hair. But as my reward for finishing 21 Day Fix, uh, all the way through all three weeks, um, I'm going to try... <laughs> my darn hardest to stay away from alcohol for the next three weeks. Um, you know, I'm the mama that wants to have a glass of wine to relax, that feels like I deserve the wine. But you know what? 
I am really, really trying to stick to the plan for the next three weeks. Um, after looking like I was pregnant again, I, I just felt awful. And that motivated me even more to get up and get it done. So you have to have big goals. You have to have a big why. You have to have a big reason that you want to reach your goals. Because if you don't have a reason you want to lose weight, you're not going to do it. Um, even if it's not to be a certain weight on the scale, but just to feel better in your skin. If it's to be able to go shopping. If it's to be able to fit in pants a size smaller. I mean, whatever. To feel good taking your kid to the beach. You know, whatever your reason for get losing weight, getting healthy, changing your lifestyle. Whatever your reason is, it's your reason. I can't give you a reason that you need to lose weight. You need to figure that out for yourself. Um, and I think taking those pictures was the punch in the stomach that I needed to realize I need to stay with this. I need to be attractive for myself. I need to feel better about myself. I want to look good for my husband. Um, I want to show my kids what it's like to be healthy and care about what you're eating. And, you know, they're like all those containers again. You know, that's just what I got to do to be successful. You know, that blender's going off in the morning. You know, it's what I need to do to be successful. And, you know, I know how to, what to do. You know, I lost 25 pounds after my pregnancy and then, you know, I let it all go away. Um, after my first pregnancy, I lost 75 pounds. So, I mean, I, I know what I need to do. Um, obviously, this time around, it's harder. Uh, there's more scar tissue. It's been two C-sections. It's been two 75-pound weight gains. So, you know, it's harder as you get older. It's harder as you've had more pregnancies. It's harder as you gain and had to lose the weight multiple times. It's definitely harder, but it's not impossible. It just means you have to work that much harder. So, I think what I'm trying to say is, number one, do not set yourself up for failure. Get the food that makes you binge out of your house. Number two, have big goals that are going to make you want to do the work. And number three, bust your butt so you're not going to want to waste all the time you put into it and just ruin it all by self-sabotaging. So my three tips. So I hope everybody has a great Monday night. If you have tips, you have ideas for what you want me to cover tomorrow night on my live video, put it down in the comments and let me know what you want to hear from me. Um, I'm here for you guys to give you guys content, to give you guys advice, to help motivate you, inspire you, and help you guys cross your goals too. So have a good night, guys. Bye.